All right, all right, all right. We're back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. Different corner from the Rock in the Rock Cave, but we're still in the Rock Cave. Today is Saturday, May 23rd. We are going back to 1970. This band releases this song on this date. For today, we're going with Canadian band. That's the Guess Who. They release American Woman with the flip side of No Sugar Tonight. Uh, everyone knows that song, right? Great song. Uh, who are the Guess Who? The Guess Who band out of Winnipeg, Canada. Um, throughout the most of the 60s, they're just doing their thing. Uh, 66, they uh, come out with their first album, I think. It's right around there. They actually hit it big in 69 with uh, These Eyes. Everyone knows that song. It's a staple on soft rock stations. Uh, then they kind of pick a little turn and get into a little bit harder rock, and that's when they release American Woman. Uh, who are the members of the Guess Who? Well, the only one that you really need to know as far as who did anything after that was Randy Bachman. And Randy Bachman's in the Guess Who? And then he goes on and forms Bachman Turner Overdrive, BTO. Uh, the Guess Who only lasted for a, a few years in popularity, really only like 70 to set, like 68 to 70 or something like that. But of course, you know all their songs, No Time, American Woman, Laughing, These Eyes, Undone, all that stuff. Uh, These Eyes sold over a million copies in 1969. Again, they take a heavier turn and they put out American Woman. A little bit of controversy about that song. <clears throat> um, of course, it's during the war, Nixon administration. Uh, people kind of adopted it and think it's an anti-war song, and that's kind of what it's been known about. Uh, and there's still a debate to this day. Uh, one of the band members says that it was never a politics song, never anti-American politics song. They basically said it was about uh, American women because the American women were growing up too fast compared to Canadian women, and they just preferred Canadian women. That's, you know, that's what he said. But uh, Randy Bachman says, yeah, it was kind of an anti American song. So no one will ever really know. Uh, they were actually invited to the White House by the Nixon administration to perform uh, around in 1970, and they were specifically asked not to play that song. Uh, so anyway, that song, you know, that's classic rock. Everyone knows that song. It's kind of been around forever. It just, I mean, there's no, I think everyone knows that song. Fast forward, Lenny Kravitz does a remake of it. That becomes a huge hit for him. I never cared for that version myself. I know that some of you are going to say you love it. It just, was, it just wasn't my thing. But let's talk about that single. American Woman, the flip side is No Sugar Tonight. And at the time, they counted singles and B-sides separately. So American Woman went to number one, the first Canadian band to have a number one hit in the United States. And No Sugar Tonight went up to like number 39. So it was separate. Uh, I remember when I first heard No Sugar Tonight, I, I just liked that song better than American Woman. Uh, and if you actually got lucky on the radio station, they would play No Sugar Tonight and let it roll into New Mother Nature, because um, that was really how it was intended to be. It turns out that they had uh, No Sugar Tonight was basically a song about them walking down the street and hearing a woman say to a guy who was, they were arguing, saying, uh, you're not getting... You're getting no sugar tonight or something like that. So they actually had to add the lyric in my coffee and in my tea to make it less suggestive. Um, and then, of course, the drug culture said that the, the sugar was LSD, but that was just something they made up because uh, the guests who were notorious for being uh, anti-drug in that regard. Actually, Randy Bachman left the band to uh, become a Mormon, and then he formed BTO. So anyway... I think that No Sugar Tonight and New Mother Nature, those two together, are just a great song. So that's what we're going to do for Song of the Day today. Uh, turn it up. It's classic rock. Everyone loves a little bit of classic rock, so enjoy your day. It's going to rain today, but tomorrow and Monday look even better. So, again, enjoy your Saturday. It's No Sugar Tonight with New Mother Nature. Give it a listen, and we'll see you on the flip side.